I refer to the problem in the next video as coming from section 2.7. Uh, that was a mistake. It actually comes from section 3.1. In problem number 10 of section 2.7, we're given a function modeling the velocity of a particle traveling on, along the x-axis uh, from time equals 0 to time equals pi. So the function is uh, v of t equals cosine of t times e to the sine of t. We're asked, what's the displacement of the particle along this interval? Now, displacement um, is distinct from the distance traveled. Displacement takes into, fact, takes into account the fact that you may be traveling left on the um, interval. It basically asks, what is the difference from your starting point to, your, uh, to the ending point? So we can find this uh, just by using the formula for displacement, which uh, is the integral uh, from the starting point to the ending point. So 0 to pi of cosine of t times e to the sine of t. And to evaluate this, we let uh, u equal sine of t. Then du is equal to cosine of t dt. And we can write this as the integral of, um, let's see, e to the u. And then we have cosine t dt is equal to du. And now for the limits, if uh, t is equal to 0, well then u is equal to 0. And if, uh, let's see, if t is equal to pi, then u is equal to uh, sine of pi. So we get um, 0 as well. So actually looking at the integral from 0 to 0 of e to the u, well, this is just um, equal to 0. So it might seem like a strange answer that uh, of integrating uh, velocity you're expecting to get the position, you end up with 0. What this says is essentially that we're, the particle um, comes back after pi seconds, the particle just comes back to its original starting point.